Hey Realtors, how you doing? I have a question for you. Do you have a retirement plan? Do you wonder what will happen to your income once you decide that you wanna quit doing the hustle and quit showing properties and quit selling properties? Do you have a plan? We can all say that we're, you know, maximizing our SEPs and, you know, saving this money and so on and so forth. But if you do not have a plan, you will not wanna miss this video because the things that eXp Realty is doing to change your life, especially once you get to that retirement age, is absolutely out of this world. If you've been recruited by an eXp agent, raise your hand. If you have been recruited by an eXp agent who has actually explained the revenue share model and how to build financial freedom, doing the same things that you're doing here and there every single day, having friends call you up and say, hey, I'm gonna get my real estate license, where should I hang my license? The answer is you always say the real estate brokerage you're at. What if you could get compensated and build an entire retirement plan based around this model? Well, you can do that. Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to the Realtor Playbook. Jeremy Kane here, helping you build a game plan so that you can win day in, day out in the real estate game. Today, we're obviously talking about the EXP revenue share plan. I want to help you understand the life-changing ideals that this company represents with this revenue share model. The truth is we must go back to the beginning. Glenn Sanford, the founder of EXP, took the KW model, revolutionized it, and has been rolling ever since. EXP is the fastest growing real estate brokerage in the entire world. And absolutely the foundation of this is this revenue share model. So I'm going to put this revenue share flowchart in the comments so that you can take a look and follow along if you want to. Also, we'll be right here on my screen with my handy dandy iPad Pro and we'll follow along. So let's dive in. Let's say that you come over to eXp, you decide to make that life-changing decision and wanna build your future. And you know, the honest truth is you don't have to do it right away. You can come on over, start selling houses or continue selling houses and, can, and naturally attract agents. The truth is that if you are in a proper upline and they're teaching you how to do this and attract agents, it's absolutely a game changer. So let's dive into the model. Okay, so say that you come to the company and you're up here. This is where you will be at the very top. Okay, and let's change the color so you can actually see this here. All right, and then say that Sally wants to join you at EXP Realty makes that change. So you have Sally, okay? For numbers purposes, let's say that Sally sells her first home and earns a $10,000 commission. EXP is on an 80-20 split until you've paid $16,000 to the company. So from this $10,000, uh, Sally would earn $8,000. EXP would earn $2,000. $8,000 plus $2,000 equals $10,000. That's the gross commission. From this $2,000, not Sally's money from the $2,000, you as Sally's sponsor would earn $350. Some say, well, 3.5% of 2,000 is not 350. The revenue share for tier one is 3.5% of the gross commission. And all of these numbers that you see on the screen are of the gross commission. So let's look back here. From this model, you have expansion share, expansion or exponential share, and frontline qualifying agents. We will dive into all of these, but as you know, here it's zero to four. So Sally will be on your first tier and this would be the model. So you would earn $350 every time that Sally closes a $10,000 commission until she has paid the company $16,000. Once she has paid $16,000 to the company, we call that capping, and she would be on a 100% uh, commission transaction fee model until her anniversary year anniversary. So that's a great, you know, start. That's a base model. But how are people really making all this money involving rev share? Well, let's dive into that. Say that Sally brings on, I don't know, Frank. So now Frank here is on Sally's tier one. All right. Let's say Sally brings on Frank. So put Frank here, right here on tier two. Okay, you are still at the top, Sally's on your tier one, and Frank is on your tier two. Now, if for Sally's purposes, 
Frank would be on her tier one, so on and so forth. So let's say that Frank comes in and for numbers purposes, close a $10,000 commission. Okay, so let's start with uh, Frank here at the top. Frank gets 8,000, EXP takes 2,000. Of EXP's 2,000, you have Sally. She will get $350 and you are eligible to earn 0 0.2 plus 3.8. So that would be you here earning $400 uh, as long as you qualify here. So let's talk about frontline qualifying agents for a second. Anybody that you sponsor into the company is noticed as a frontline agent. Anybody who you sponsor into the company who does $5,000 of GCI within a six month period is considered a frontline qualifying agent. So you need five frontline qualifying agents to open up your tier two. So once you have five frontline qualifying agents, you would be eligible for this $400, which is 3.8% plus 0.2% for 4% total. However, if you do not have five qualifying agents and Frank closes this deal then all of a sudden your commission or your split would go to twenty dollars as you do not have the exponential share to unlock by your frontline qualifying agent so that's where it gets a little confusing but you can imagine sally brings on an agent you know frank brings on an agent and it continues to multiply and this is how people like mike sherrard and connor steinbrook are building entire empires based on their agent attraction because as it grows and you continue to help people grow um, and train them and teach them and provide them value, it absolutely is a, a big deal. And it's kind of a weird little thing because it is a multi-level marketing system, but in most multi-level marketing systems, those people aren't, hey, like how can I you know, do this? I get calls at least before I was a top producer, I would get one to five calls a year Hey, I'm looking to get into real estate. I know you're in it. Would you mind helping me out? And so that ability to just kind of naturally build your sphere and build your organization is absolutely a game changer. Some people have ab absolutely focused on agent attraction and are earning seven figures a month because of being an early adopter and getting in early and building their organization and focusing on it and providing so much value that it makes no sense to go to a traditional brokerage because the compensation model is unmatched. How does this really grow? So let's say you have five qualifying agents on your front line, um, they all cap, okay? We all know that might not be possible, but if you bring 10 agents on, maybe five cap, you're building that through and maybe those, those 10 will eventually cap out or you continue to build your front line as you go. So let's say you bring on five agents and they all cap. Well, $2,800 times five gives you $14,000 $14, a year. Okay, that's a pretty good number for, you know, just kind of mentoring agents along, encouraging them to do deals. And, you know, once they sell about 3.1 million in volume, which in our current market, especially in the Colorado area, is not unheard of. Right, so we get to $14,000. We have five cappers. Say those five cappers bring on one agent each. You're already open because you have five plus qualifying agents, but then say all of those agents cap, and now we're at 3,200. Well, that's $16,000. So just in these tier two, by bringing on 10 different agents, as long as they're qualifying agents and capping agents, you've just increased your income by $30,000 a year. Okay, now we're talking, that's, that's significant money. So as we move, you can see how this exponentially grows. And then you get down here, okay, to tier six and seven. And there is a company out there that built their model based on the EXP model, but they end right here, okay? And if we're talking, you know, we have 40 plus agents in our organization, we're getting to that seventh tier, maybe we're at 100 or 200 agents, which is absolutely possible once it kind of takes off and gets legs, because not only are you bringing other agents on, but the people under you are able to do so and say maybe half of them are interested in agent attraction and half of them just naturally attract a few agents here and there and aren't really focused on it. Eventually you'll get to this tier six and seven. Okay, notice these numbers, 25 plus and 40 plus, so you can recruit 40 agents in your entire lifetime and open up all seven tiers of income. And as you notice, 
these tiers are pretty significant. Okay, so the more people that you have on your sixth and seventh tier that are capping, this is where the model goes nuts. And, and the company that doesn't have this is leaving a huge piece out, you know, maybe not in the here and now, maybe it's a little bit better, you know, money here and now, but if you're looking at long-term wealth and building a retirement and not having to grind and sell houses your entire life, this takes it from a you know, okay retirement plan to a retirement plan on steroids. Uh, because you know, 2,000 and 4,000 per agent is a big deal when you get down six, seven tiers down the road. And hopefully within your organization, you are you know have a relationship with all those people, but obviously you're focused on your leaders and taking care of those people so that then they can take care of those people so they can take care of those people. And so you may not even know these people or you may not even you know have conversations with them daily, but they're just closing deals and doing their thing and you can earn up to $4,000 a year on their production, which is pretty cool. And as you go, those tiers will get bigger and bigger. So as you can see, this is a huge retirement option. The old saying goes that agents don't retire, they expire. And I think that's kind of crap. And coming over to this model and seeing it presented correctly absolutely changed the trajectory of my life and will allow me to retire. And I can quit selling houses in 10 years if I have an organization that's providing you know, $10,000 a month or something along those lines, I can comfortably retire. All my houses will be paid for, my bills will be under control. And then I can absolutely kind of kick my feet up, just be a leader, train, you know, mentor, inspire people to continue to keep growing. And I don't have to, you know, sell houses. I don't have to run out and show that house at 8 p.m. on a Saturday to get under contract by Monday. I can help these other agents build. And as they produce, doing exactly what they would do at any other brokerage, taking money from the EXP share, not theirs, I can build an entire retirement plan. So I don't have to tap into those SEPs and those other investments that I've built over time. I can continue to earn an income by just managing my organization. And so that's a huge piece. The next piece is your rev share is willable. So say something were to happen to me, I build this organization out, I pass away at, you know, super early, five years after I retire, or even now, whatever it is, I can have someone in my family, my direct family, get their real estate license and they would jump into my rev share spot. They would just have to maintain their real estate license. They don't have to sell any houses or do anything and they could continue to earn that income residually as we go. So that's an absolute game changer when it comes to the real estate industry, as far as retirement things go. If you wanna learn more about this, we have weekly calls where we break down the entire model, not just the revenue share piece, but I'd be happy to get you, you know, hooked up with the right people or explain it to you myself. Um, book a call down there in the Calendly link in the comments, and I'd be happy to explain that to you. The next piece about the revenue share piece as well, everyone's like EXP is growing, but you know, there's no way it's going to last. The truth is that EXP is opening up in different countries as we go. There's constant expansion on the mind. Just five years ago, they were at 4,500 agents. Just at EXPCon this last year, the company's goal is to have 500,000, the company's goal is to have 500,000 agents within five years. So that's in a 10 year span going from 4,500 agents to 500,000 is freak growth. At this time, we are not even close to 500,000. So you're still an early adopter. You can still get on that. You could still be the blockbuster moving to Netflix or the you know early adopters of Amazon or Google or Apple or any of those big things. As we know, the early adopters are sitting pretty. Those people that bought into the stock and do all that stuff are absolutely on a different level because of the company's growth. In the end, every real estate agent I've ever talked to is all about helping people and changing people's lives and you know so on and so forth. The typical brand, the typical story, right? Why wouldn't you as an agent, if you're really about wanting to change people's lives, why wouldn't you take on a whole nother population of people and agents and being able to change their life for the better? So now we can sell houses and you know build real estate investment and help our clients but also any real estate agents that we come in contact with or know, we can help change their lives. And that's when we start to be, you know, icons and, and understand that we are really making a difference. You know, obviously we do it all for our clients, but why not do it for our industry and our agency partners and really take it to the next level? The honest truth is this model allows you to do it. The wheel is already invented. You don't have to reinvent the wheel, kind of just plug in. You believe in the model, you believe in the system 
and it will change your life for the better. I guarantee it. Look forward to talking to you soon. As always, book a call with me anytime. Would love to talk. Rev share, would love to talk, you know, your business, help you out any way I can. Thanks for tuning in. We'll talk to you soon.